everything is dipped in gold Then baby, it will never grow Everything sweet ain't sugar coated Group number one, let's go ahead and dive into your reading and find out in today's pick a card, your best qualities, what makes you rare, exclusive, and high value. Let's go ahead and get it started with my group number ones. Best qualities. And what makes you rare? exclusive and high value those that select group number one for their best qualities what makes them rare exclusive and high value What makes my group number ones rare, exclusive, and high value? Group number one, your best qualities. What makes you rare, exclusive, and high value? First thing that I was getting here is that you are a fun house. You yourself are the fun, you are the party. I'm getting that you have interesting or specific or intricate hobbies, talents, skills, or interests, or you always recommend things that people would never think to even consider. You have a very creative mindset, mind state, but this is most specifically in regards to the actions that you take, the things that you do. You're extremely creative. You never do what people expect of you. You quite often never do what people see. You may have some sort of a talent or skill or something that is all in itself rare. Or you just have a rare hobby, talent, skill, or interest. I'm getting this vibe of a group of people thinking of what they should do on a trip or where they should travel to. And everyone expresses very basic places or basic things to do, but you yourself will come out of the blue with something very specific and either rarely or never even heard of. This is not something that you have to try really hard to do. This is 
naturally in your genetic makeup to simply be, say, think, hear, feel, smell different than the world around you. I see that this puts you in a lot of places that a lot of people have yet to see or explore or feelings that a lot of people have yet to experience. You have a lot of great stories to tell for this reason too. You're experimentative, you're active, you're bubbly, you're abundant, and above all, you're trying. You put in a great deal of effort in life. You're not the type to try to pretend that you are nonchalant. You let it be very clear what you like, what you dislike, what you care about, what you don't care about. And you don't try to play too cool for school. There's a level of enjoyment in expression that you have that is quite awe-inspiring and awakening for the people around you. You've got an adventurous soul that's hard to pin down and you could also be a trendsetter in your own way. People see something that you do, they wanna try it. People see something that you eat, they wanna taste it. People smell something that you wear, they wanna wear it. Even if it doesn't end up being for them, they just want to at least give it a try, give it a go. Your best qualities, what makes you rare, exclusive, and high value? So going back to the, the rarity, I want to focus on that. This group here, I wouldn't be surprised if you have some sort of physical capability that not a lot of people have, or even if a lot of people do have, not the majority of people can do this. Like maybe you could do a, a backflip or a back walkover, or you can bend your hands and arms and legs and feet in, in different ways. Maybe you're flexible. Uh, maybe you play a sport that a lot of people don't play, um, or you are stronger or more physically fit than the average person. Um, I'm also getting here too, a part of what makes you exclusive is the fact that you will invest in the right things for you. Meaning you are the type that will pay for um, certain classes or memberships that get you into an exclusive group or company separate from other people. You don't do this to be separate from other people, but you do this to really exemplify and highlight your interests. You're not afraid to invest in your interests. Um, I'm also getting here too that you allow creativity to lead you and you don't become easily swayed or inspired by monetary or monetary gains nor popularity. You don't do things necessarily for the money or because it'll make you popular. You do things because you love them. And we have Sattva. Let's go ahead and read that straight from the book. This is the Yogic Path oracle deck and you already know if you're familiar with the channel that we absolutely adore this deck and we read it straight from the book every single time because the confirmations are out of this world so sattva is on page 37 you could be seeing the number 37 quite often threes or sevens this represents purity and clarity you have let go of the things that were holding you back and are reaching deeper levels of clarity Maybe you've cleaned up your diet, home, self-care products, relationships, thought patterns, career goals, or life outlook and are now experiencing the joys that come with purity, sattva. The space you have created is allowing greater gifts that are more aligned with your truth to present themselves. 
Continue on this path towards clarity by shedding all that is no longer serving you. When your body becomes pure, your thoughts and life will reflect that. Bring sattva, purity, into all that you do and your path will continue to become more clear. So again, you investing in things that you genuinely love and care about. This is helping you to expand into a space where people are like, wow, this is an extremely valuable, curious, explorative, loving individual living from the heart space, free from most fear, if not all, it seems. And it's very inspiring to people. What was it that stood out to me about that little script, that excerpt? Um, and highlighting that purity. You very rarely do things for profit or gain. Unless it's soulful profits, soulful gains. Even if you do stroke your ego a little bit, it's so well balanced and you are so stable and secure that it's welcoming. Even when you hype yourself up, it's inspiring. Even when you brag about yourself or when you flex your, your muscles or when you flex what you're capable of doing, it inspires. It energizes people. And you have this, this rarity about you too that makes people want to get up and do things that they've never done before. And you tap into a level of authenticity that again, inspires people to do the same. You may have done a complete 180 in a certain aspect or multiple aspects of your life. And the results are again, awe-inspiring to the people that witness it. You again, do not give your time, effort, or energy to things that you don't care about or to things that you don't love. And you don't pretend to not care about the things that you do love. Again, purity and clarity are your essences, your best qualities. And that's what makes you rare, exclusive, and high value. You seem to be free and untainted from external validation and expectations and grievances. Your internal world is very much alive and well. You believe in little to no limits. And even when you run into a blockage or hit a glass ceiling, you don't take that as your final answer. You look for a way around it, over it, through it. So your best qualities again are your purity and your clarity of mind, essence, body, and soul. You feel untainted or untouched by the outside world, but it may have not always been this way. But because this is where you are now, it feels very pure. Um, I'm being brought to a lot of white crystals, clear things, or just white, the color white in general, things that are clear, things that are pure, untouched, unbothered. And this is all that I have for my group number ones about your best qualities and what makes you rare, exclusive, and high value. Join us over on Patreon for exclusive content that you won't catch here on the main channel. That's the second link in the description box. The first link in the description box can take you to my website where you can book a personal reading or you can even purchase a gently used deck that you want to add to your collection. 
And if you would like to donate to the channel, there is a PO box as well as a virtual tip jar in the description box down below. Thank you in advance for commenting, for liking, for subscribing. And I'll talk to you next time. Ta-ta! Group number two, I'm talking to you. Let's go ahead and get into this pick a card reading to discuss your best qualities. Group number two's best qualities. What makes group number two rare, exclusive, and high value? What makes group number two rare, exclusive, and high value? What makes group number two rare, exclusive, and high value? What makes group number two rare, exclusive, and high value? Okay, so the very first thing that I am picking up on right now has something to do with oldies or classics um, or underdogs, things that are unpopular, things that have been thrown away, um, thrifting, um, things that need a little bit of TLC. Um, you could be the type that's really into classic or older things. Um, and what I'm getting here is that you have a very keen eye for these types of things, these classic cars, classic music, um, vintage art pieces, um, things that are considered one man's trash, you discover it as a newfound treasure. Um, group number two, you can bring just about anyone or anything back to life. Um, that's for some of you very specific in regards to plants. You have a green thumb um, and you can really come in and rescue and save something that is dying. Now that's not exclusive to plants. Um, I'm getting that businesses that are no longer thriving come to you and they find new life. The tender love and care that you put into the things that you are responsible for or the things that come to you, it's decadent. What does that word even really mean? Let's define, define decadent. Characterized by or reflecting a state of mort moral or cultural decline. Oh, hold on. Define decadent. Luxuriously self-indulgent. Okay, I Girl, found this on the web. Decadent, exclusive, rare. You could also be the type that takes something that people think is like literally, like I said before, like something that people think is trash, meant to be thrown away, but you get your hands on it and now people are bidding on it, willing to put down more money than what it was even worth in its glory days, in its original times when it was first created. This also gives the vibe of a sculptor or a, um, a crafter. Someone who chips away at the extra things and gets to the core, gets to the nitty gritty, gets to the value, gets to the center. 
This also makes me think of miners, like people that mine uh, for gold, for crystals, for treasure. Where other people see, again, trash, no value. You're like a value detector. And that is what is coming through as your best quality. What makes you rare, exclusive, and high value? It has something to do with you being a value detector yourself. Let's say that a family is in a home that is falling apart, but they don't want to get rid of it because it's been in the family for generations. What do you do? You come in and you clean, you upcycle, recycle, DIY. And you make it a new kind of new all over again. You also bring joy back to things that may be played out. So uh, let's say hopscotch. Let's say like people don't play hopscotch anymore, but they see you playing hopscotch. Oh my gosh, I want to play that so bad. I, I miss playing hopscotch. I love hopscotch. You have a nostalgic energy to you as well reminding people of valuable things of the past, things that they didn't even realize that they forgot about. You remind people of their interests from quote unquote better days, glory days, better times. Again, it's wrapped up in the oldies, the classics, trash becoming treasure. What makes you rare, exclusive, and high value? You yourself also age like fine wine. Uh, especially if you're the oldest sibling or something like this here, people are looking at you like, dang, you look good. What makes you exclusive is that you don't go for the highest priced item on the rack. You go for what you know, you go for what you like, you go for what you love, you go for what has a good brand or good standing or has a promising outcome. Something that will last longer. Not because of the brand name or the designer, but because of the quality. You may not have a lot of name brand things or things that have a lot of logos on them. Again, you could be someone who thrifts. What makes you high value? You don't brag. People just find out that you salvaged something or that you have something or that you own something. You don't brag about it. Um, people just know when they see it. You don't have to brag either. You have a quiet confidence to you. Even if you yourself are um, a gregarious, boisterous, loud individual, you still have a quiet confidence where people just know that you know who you are, you know how you feel, you know what you want. You got a good head on your shoulders is what I feel like a lot of people would say about you. And we've got Bhakti. I'm going to read that straight from the book. This deck is a yogic path. And if you're familiar with this channel, then you know that we absolutely adore this deck and we read straight from the book for this every single time because it hits so different. This is on page 81. You could be seeing repeating 81s or eights and or ones. Bhakti is about devotion. So your best quality is 
in relation to devotion. What makes you rare, exclusive, and high value is in relation to your level of devotion. You have begun walking on the path of devotion, bhakti yoga. You are devoted to something greater than yourself, your body, your possessions, or your desires. This dedication is to the divine. Now is the time to ask yourself, what does divinity mean to me? When do I feel close to divine? Paths to bhakti yoga include kirtan, devotional mantras, meditations and prayers to the gods and goddesses, offering service to those in need and spending time in nature. The selfless path of bhakti yoga takes you to the greatest ecstasy of all, the bliss of devoting yourself to spirit. And that, my friends, is what are your best qualities being highlighted right here, right now, and what makes you rare, exclusive, and high value. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Leave love in the comment section down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and share this video with a friend. If you're interested in booking a personal reading, first link in the description box down below. Second link in the description box down below takes you to Patreon for exclusive content that you will not catch here on the main channel. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, there's a PO box as well as a virtual tip jar. And I thank you in advance. All of that information is in the description box down below. Ta-ta! Group number three. Group number three, your best qualities. Group number three, what makes you rare, exclusive, and high value? Group number three, what makes you rare, exclusive, and high value. What makes group number three rare, exclusive, and high value? What makes my group number threes rare, exclusive, and high value? Okay. What makes my group number threes rare, exclusive, and high value? Your best qualities. So, first thing that was coming through here, um, it's maternal energy. Whether you are um, a woman, whether you are a mother or not, there's a maternal energy that you naturally possess and it naturally brings comfort to other people. And something about this makes people either want to do things for you, cater to you, bring you comfort, bring you joy, give you what you need, or you make them want to do these things for themselves. Your energy alone has the power to put people to work or to make people want to work for themselves. And when I say work, I mean put in time, effort, energy that they thought that they didn't have. You also have um, spiritual influence over people. Natural charisma, if you will, where people will do things for free for you or people will give you free things or 
people will give you free advice um, or people will give you great tips or they'll give you things for free or they'll give you access to things that other people have to work hard for or other people have to pay for. But you get some sort of exclusive access to these things because of, again, the maternal energy, the mothering energy, the comforting energy that you bring. People naturally trust you with good reason is what I'm getting here. And that's your best quality is that people can trust you and that you have this power of influence, obviously given to you by a higher power. Again, with great reason because you clearly know what to do with it. This feels like one of those uh, with great powers comes great responsibility and you are all of those things. Responsible, creative, inspiring, and ready. <coughs> I almost choked on my own spit. <coughs> Ooh. Okay, we're good now. Let's see. What else can we discover here about my group number threes? My group number three's best qualities. What makes them rare, exclusive, and high value? giving like this water under a bridge thing going on here and these two seem to be connected um because of the the scenery it seems like they're not too far away from each other knight of cups i feel like this is you you're comforting your mothering maternal energy ready to provide comfort to those in need okay you also provide a, a higher perspective for people and you also have a great way of expressing to people that the game's not over or it's not over. You have this teamwork makes a dream work vibe about you. And you could naturally uh, make mentees, like people that will come to you that see you as a mentor. Your best qualities, what makes you rare, exclusive, and high value? What makes you rare is your kindness to strangers or people that you don't know. What makes you exclusive? I feel like there's there's ways to have to get to you. Like it may not be easy to contact you or it may not be easy to literally get to you. So you could literally be exclusive. It's like you're hard to reach. Like you have to know a friend that knows a friend that knows group number three. Yeah, like people feel like they don't have direct access to you or to have direct access to you is top tier. What makes you exclusive also is um, you're not one to reconcile too often. And I'm saying that this is not with a hateful heart. It's just once it's done, it's done. And what makes you high value is that you just don't know when group number three has had enough. And it's like, you you carry yourself with such poise. You could be deemed as kind of quiet. You could be considered a kind of quiet person. Or at least, if not quiet, you're observant. You read the room. And what makes you high value is that people might not realize that they've already had their time with you and that's it because you don't 
do the going away parties. You don't do the closure. Oh, I need closure. You don't, you don't do that, or at least not anymore. Or at least this is what makes you high value is because you're not seeking closure. Um, There's something here about you bowing out gracefully, removing yourself quietly, not really trying to argue. And you're probably not likely to be the one to explain to someone or over explain to someone what they did wrong. When you're done, you're done. There we go. We've got Brahma. I'm going to read this straight from the book. This is a yogic path oracle deck and if you're familiar with this channel then you know that we love this deck here and we read it straight from the book every single time because it's just so confirming so let's flip to the page with your card on it which is on page 121 so you could be seeing repeating ones twos ones twos and we've got brahma God of creation. So your best qualities are in the Empress energy, the Empress archetype, because the Empress is feminine and related to creation. So creation, creativity, um, bringing things into fruition, manifestation through attraction. <clears throat> or just powerful energy work. You don't have to do too much on the physical. You usually set more intentions through prayer, through energy work, and then take necessary steps after that. So this card, God of creation, Brahma says, it is time to create. Brahma, the creator of the universe and all beings has come to you with the message that is now the time to bring that idea to fruition. What is that idea that you've been sitting on but haven't taken action? Now is time to plant that seed into the earth and water it with your intention so it sprouts to life, benefiting all of those around you. Brahma's rosary symbolizes the time cycle through which the world moves from creation to sustenance, from sustenance to dissolution, and from dissolution to new creation. Which cycle are you on? Even that brief explanation was very matter of fact. And you have that matter of fact, cool, calm and collected maternal energy about you too. Again, when it's done, it's done. <clears throat> Is there anything else? for my group number threes. Your vocabulary, uh, <clears throat> dang, why is my throat chakra doing that all of a sudden with your group? <clears throat> Which makes a lot of sense with this blue here. But also that makes a lot of sense because I was just about to start talking about um, your word choice, your communication, your tone, your timing. And if you create visuals, <clears throat> damn. If you create visuals of any kind, you do this beautifully as well. You really know how to set the tone. Um, aesthetics are also something that's coming through here as well. Again, that goes into the comfort category. So before I start sounding too repetitive, I'm going to close group number three's reading out right here. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. If you'd like to book a personal reading, we can expand on this topic or any other topic that you have in mind. Um, that'll be the very first link in the description box down below. Head on over to my website and book your personal reading today. Second link in the description box is for Patreon, where you will catch content that you will not get here on the main channel. That's the second link in the description box. Join us over on Patreon. There's multiple tiers to fit your needs. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, there is a PO box as well as a virtual tip jar. And I thank you in advance. All the information is in the description box down below. Thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Group number four, thank you for joining us in today's pick a card reading where we are talking about your best qualities. What makes you rare 
exclusive and high value group number four let's find out let's dive into this reading to find out your best qualities Group number four, best qualities. What makes you rare, exclusive, and high value? Okay, group number four, what makes you rare, exclusive, and high value and your best qualities? This has to do with everything outside of you, spiritually speaking your spiritual protection, your spiritual hygiene. And there's some sort of favoritism or nepotism coming into play here. Now, for some of you, this could be because of if you are married, you've married into a family, a name, an energy that is highly protective over you and has kind of like brought you into an exclusive hierarchy, um, a higher level. If it's, I'm getting like, it's more spiritual, but it could be for some of you in the physical as well too, that you find yourself being the favorite of some rather important people you make extremely close and deep connections with important, extravagant type of people. You might even know these people's secrets. What makes you rare is your blood. Yeah, that's what it is. Like it's the lineage that you were born into your family. So your best quality is literally within your genetic makeup, your DNA. What makes you exclusive is that it makes you pretty untouchable, spiritually speaking. For some of you, again, physically it reflects to where you have um, highly protective physical individuals around you that will never let anything ever, 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 ever happen to you. And it's due to the strength and the quality of their spirit. And what makes you high value is your spiritual gifts. This group here you have some sort of gift that can take you extremely far if it has not already. For some of you, this is a gift that you can't or haven't quite really put a name to it. You might not know what to call it. You might not know exactly how to explain it, but it's there and it's been guiding you. It's been teaching you. It's been leading you. This is about intuition. Like, again, everything about your best qualities, what makes you rare, exclusive, and high value has everything to do with your blood, your DNA, your spiritual protection, and your gifts. And where that's leading you, where that's taking you. For some of you, this has made you the 
leader or matriarch in some way, shape or form of your family, the spiritual protection, the all seeing eye, the one that people go to before making certain choices, movements, decisions and changes. Again, big on people trusting you with their secrets. These are either big and important people trusting you with their secrets or these are big and important secrets that people are trusting you with. You've also got a gift for attracting the youth. So there's something in your Akashic records that you'll be tapping into, that you are tapping into. This is something that you're awakening to now because I'm seeing a lotus flower um, unfolding. This is something that you're awakening to now on how to influence and impact the youth. Group number fours, best qualities. Group number four is best qualities. What makes them rare, exclusive, and high value? Ah, it landed right on top of those spiritual gifts, okay? And I'm not even going to pretend to try to pronounce this word here, but you see it. And we are going to move over to the Yogic Path book to read this straight from the creator's mouth, because it's always so on point. And I want you to really feel and receive that message. This lovely card here is found on page 51. So you could be seeing repeating fives, repeating ones or sixes, okay? Let's get to page 51 and read this message to you again. I'm not even going to attempt to try to pronounce that beautiful word because I will butcher it. So let's go ahead and get into it and dive into it. But it's all about the sacral chakra. So your best qualities all stem from your sacral chakras. That's what today's reading is highlighting. Your best qualities, again, are all linked to your sacral chakra, which is all about creativity and passion and abundance and likeness, okay? So let's go ahead and read this little excerpt to explore a little bit more what makes you rare, exclusive, and high quality and high value. No, high value and best qualities. Okay, let's let's get into it. So the sacral chakra, this is the chakra of creativity, abundance, and pleasure. Let these words be your mantra. Find what fills your cup and pour it all over the canvas of life. This is the time to put your creative projects first, the very ones you've had on the shelf for months. This is also the time to work on shifting your relationship with money and see it as an energetic tool that can bring you great freedom. This is also the time to focus on pleasure. What makes you feel turned on? Learn more about Tantra and cultivate Shakti, the divine feminine energy within. Dance around your living room and luxuriously oil your body. Create, no, oh, I didn't mean to say create, but okay, yeah, create. But it says treat yourself the way you would a lover for you are your life's greatest love. So your group is standing out to me, group number four, because your additional card feels more like direction as opposed to an addition to your best quality reading. So rewind it a little bit and take that all in because there is some guidance, some direction in there for you, calling you to your sacral chakra, okay? So combining the sacral chakra energy with the message delivered to you today, that lets me know that you are most definitely meant to be amongst a group of selected, talented individuals that will present their beauty to the world in multiple ways, in multiple creative ways, and be recognized for it in some way, shape, or form. This does feel exclusive um, all in itself. And with the Nine of Cups here, but in the reverse, it lets me know that it's bigger than you. Um, and that's why it's such a spiritual description, a spiritual essence, and a spiritual feeling to your reading because it's a lot bigger than you. This is the kingdom. This is God's plan. So tune in, 
to your sacral chakra and heed the direction that you feel guided towards as you yourself are already a beautifully intuitive and creative individual. Trust your guidance, all right? This is all that I have for you. First link in the description box down below if you would like to book a personal reading. Second link in the description box is for Patreon where you will find content that you won't get, get here on the main channel. And if you're interested in donating to the channel, there is a PO box as well as a virtual tip jar in the description box down below. Give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And I will talk to you next time. Now, I know that my Talians had to know that I was coming. Y'all had to know that I was coming, even if I didn't mention it. So let's go ahead and dive into this reading. We're just going to see what my Talians need to know tuned in right here, right now, today. So we've got Eighth House Intimacy. We've got Neptune. Okay, so you are eradicating some sort of, yeah, some sort of projection or false truth or some sort of misunderstanding. This feels like cutting to the truth in a situation. Mm -hmm. getting to the point or your message is heard loud and clear yeah some sort of an illusion has been eradicated some sort of an illusion that was creating uh, difficulties or a fantasy or something like this has been eradicated um this could be clarity between you and someone else this could be clarity about your values about what you like what you dislike someone could be seeing that this conflicts with something maybe yeah yeah, yeah. like maybe someone <clears throat> was projecting or hoping for something and realizing that that is not the case here yeah damn we've got extra neptune cancer and wow 12th house these are all water signs what's going on here i'm feeling guided to do a little one of these one of these one of these one of these okay okay well i accidentally picked that up so i only meant to get one but we got two so that lets me know that someone could have effed around and found out or someone could have found out some more information it's giving this vibe of figuring out or learning more than what they wanted or needed to know something is made very clear yeah nine of cups about what you want or what they want or yeah someone's made a decision here this is you or someone else yeah about what they want about their likes their dislikes but above all this is about something that someone has learned seen recognized or heard all of these cups okay let me get a yogic path card and we're just gonna we're not even gonna try to blues clues our way through we just want what is it samadhi or however that is pronounced we're gonna read that straight from the book which is on what page 77 so you ooh, and i flipped right to it so um a lot about alignment things being exactly where they need to be eight stages of yoga advanced state of meditation and absorption in the self have you noticed the signs of spiritual progress 
Your daily practice has brought you to a place of stillness and it is there where you experience samadhi, the joining of all aspects of your being, physical, spiritual, mental, and emotional. This is about like the realest truth that you can get, the realest truth that you can find. You've discovered this within yourself and it's eradicated or it's eradicating projections, fantasies, or false truths goes on to say samadhi is the deepest level of awareness when you experience supreme bliss consciousness and enlightenment your human consciousness has become one with cosmic consciousness and your soul has realized that it is far more than a mind and body celebrate the reunion of your soul and spirit for you are a microsm of the macrosm macrocosm microcosm okay let's do that again celebrate the reunion of your soul and spirit for you are a microcosm of the macrocosm okay so you are a, a piece to the whole puzzle okay you're you're um, one small step for mankind kind of thing okay so that's what's going on here there's some sort of um eradication of <sighs> falseness like oh my gosh this feels so freeing oh let me not forget our traditional bratty uh, bratty <laughs> the bats the oh my god uh, okay i'm tongue-tied and twisted the brats batty oracle let's see okay wow this is about radical alignment ah this could even have been like you fighting your own uh, desires urges and truths that was creating false things outside of you because if you're denying yourself your truth that means that you can't have what truly aligns with you outside of yourself you're stepping away from that stepping out of that energy and fully immersing yourself Oh my God, see, new light will be brought on a situation. Revelations, there it is. The truth is here. The truth is revealed. And then we have admired by many, replicated by none. Anything else? Geek to chic in the reverse here. And a new cycle is starting. This is in reverse and I'm looking at the word quiet on it. So something is being shattered out loud or corrected out loud. I feel like this is your energy itself is just louder because it's being honest. There's like a, a stronger spiritual energy radiating off of you. Yeah, judgment day. Bottom of the deck, we have rethink a recent decision. Mm-hmm. This is deep internal and external alignment. You can't deny who you are internally nor externally because they both reflect each other. Like this Cancerian energy, how it has like that six and nine figure, they're the same thing. They make up a whole. And let's get a key word. There is a sense of wholeness that you are stepping into as truths are being eradicated uh, false truths are being eradicated and what i meant to say was projections are being eradicated lightness see yeah it's like basically the truth is shining so bright that it, you can't ignore it like even if you want your truth to be the truth people are getting over their false truths and false narratives and really coming to terms with what is you know what let's get one more and then i'm gonna close out talians see look at that breakthrough root chakra a new beginning, a new seed, new roots, a new tree. Something that cannot be ignored. <laughs>